Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a quick sneak peek of our newest product, 5-Year Diary. Um, I just posted this on Instagram and Facebook and there were so many of you who just wanted to kind of get a gist of what we're going to be offering inside of here. So I decided to just do a quick sneak peek. This one is a sample, so it's not a complete book again. And I really wanted to wait till we received the final products before I showed you guys the um, the full reveal. And I think I'm going to do a video later once we receive all the actual products. But since you guys are really interested, I thought I would just do a quick um, preview of what this is going to look like. Um, so like I said, we're going to be offering um, a five-year diary in our shop. Um, this is going to be different from our common planners, obviously, because this is a different product, different type of product. But still, I wanted to kind of um, match it up in terms of the amount of paper and all that so that you can still use the same accessories that you'll be using for the common planner with these um, five-year diaries. So for example, the clear covers and also, you know, um, your A5 covers, that whatever A5 cover you're going to be using for the common planner, you should be able to use with this. And I say A5, but um, we are offering two different sizes, B6 and A5, and they are going to be undated. And I'm going to be showing you how we plan on doing that. Um, so uh, first of all, let's talk about um, just the sizes. So this one is A5. I do have the B6 sample at home. I didn't bring it, but the layout is exactly the same for the B6 and B6 and A5. So there's really no difference. It's just the size is a little bit different. Um, just for your reference, I have my B6 common planner here. So you can see that compared to the A5, it is a little bit narrower and shorter. So that's my B6. Okay, so um, in terms of the cover, we just have five-year diary in the front and five-year diary on the spine. And on the back, it says five-year diary designed by Sterling Inc. And the one I'm showing you right now is the ca caramel ca uh, cover. This is a PU leather. And um, in terms of color, we will be offering three different colors. So it's the caramel and uh, forest and mist blue. So these are the three different choices. Ignore the stamping in the front. Obviously, these were the samples for 2024 Common Planner. Um, and these are all A5 sizes right now. So I'm just showing you for the color. And um, if you're not familiar with these covers, these two are pretty much identical and they have this um, pebbly texture. And the green one is more smooth, I would say. You do see some grain and texture, but you don't feel it. So I just wanted to point that out for those of you who are um, weirded out by tex different textures. So yeah, let me show you the inside. When we designed this, um, I wanted to make it as flexible as possible. Um, I'm finishing up my current five-year diary and I really wanted something that was more flexible for uh, my knees. And I didn't want something that was super structured, but at the same time, I wanted to provide you with all the tools to create a five-year diary. And let me quickly show you. So when you first open it, it's going to say five year diary here and in total we're going to have 520 pages and these are going to come in both gold edge option like this one or white edge option like this one so you can choose and that's available in all three different um, color covers um, so that makes it six different choices in terms of the color of the cover and the edge options um, as well as you know the size options so the sizes are b6 and a5 and these are going to be ready to ship and we're going to have them available in october and again this is a sample so this is mostly blank pages but i will just be showing you the printed pages so when you first open it it's going to say five year diary and then after that we're going to have six pages of blank um grid pages and every single page in this Five year diary is going to be numbered um, from the beginning till the end. So it's going to be from page one to 517, just because it does have some miscellaneous, like, you know, pages like, you know, like that. 
in the first page. So um, it's going to be from page one to page one, 517. Okay, so when you first open it, you're going to get six pages of blank pages. And I'm going to write all of these down in the description below. And maybe I'll leave a comment that's pinned as well, just so you guys can see it, because I realize that not, pe not many people understand that there is a description just section in the video. Um, so six pages of blank pages, and then we're going to open up with a blank page for January. Um, and this is going to be the same for each month. So for every month, you're going to open up with a January, and there are going to be five spacings, I would say, five horizontal um, sections for you to fill out five different years. And I, as you can see, I don't have the years here because I wanted it to be very flexible. So you can use this for whatever you want. And um, for me, I think the front blank pages that can use this for like photo highlight of the year. So each each year can take up one page and I can do just like a photo collage of our family or something. Um, and then the first page of the month can just be highlights, um, like important dates or something for the family, uh, if you're using it for your family. But obviously if you're using it for yourself, you can do the same too. And again, I made the lines not very intrusive, so you can definitely break this apart however you want to you can like change out change up the layout so that it's more organic so maybe one year can take up this space and then another year can be smaller um just depends on what you want to do and then after that we start um one page per day and we um dedicate one page per day and on top we're going to write January 1st, January 2nd, and just continues on and on. And again, it's divided into five, five sections. So at this point, I know a lot of you actually prefer dated planners and you're going to um, say, oh, that's way too much work to write in the year, or you don't like your handwriting, or you don't want to bulk it up with a sticker. So that's why I came up with this idea. Um, for every person who purchased the five-year diary from our shop. It's going to come with a free stamping set. So you can see that we have these five clear stamps that goes from 2024 all the way to 2028. And it's the same font as our you know, default font. And these come off. And if you're familiar with these um, clear rubber sticker um, stamps, you know that they are like just so versatile and like it's really easy to just like take it apart. And um, for the final product, we're going to include a small acrylic card. So you can stick these on the acrylic card and use it as a stamp and you can like stamp the date however you want to. And the advantage of this, instead of actually printing out like two zero blank space for you to write out the date is that you can change up your layout. So maybe some years you want to take up more space, some years you have less to write. Um, you can really play it up and do whatever you want to with this. And if you're familiar with our common planner, like, you, like yes, there are dividing lines, but once you start filling it up, you're not gonna notice them if you want to change up the layout. So that was my kind of idea behind designing this. I wanted to make it as flexible as possible um without you having to dedicate this planner to these five exact years and of course if you don't end up using it for this year we're going to offer these stamps um based on like the following years as a product so that you can purchase them later if you want to match everything up or you can just handwrite it if you have really nice handwriting or you want to be creative with that. Or you can do stickers, you can do artwork, whatever you want to do. But that is just an option for you. And again, these will come with the planner. And if you purchase it um, this year until like a certain point, like next year, I guess, uh, the planners will come with this set. And then at starting from like, say August or September, we're gonna switch out the dates to um, 2025 through 2029 and then so on and so on so that these books themselves are you know empty and they're waiting for you to fill in whichever year you want to um, 
and then these stamps will make it easier for you to kind of make it all the spreads kind of um, uniform with um, nice fonts and stamps so that it's like super easy to date a bunch of days um, days all at once so that's what it looks like and so again each month is going to start with a blank page for that month and then we're gonna have one page per day and and then we're going to close the month with another blank page exactly like this just in case you want to summarize it or write something or put some photos there and each page um, in the middle we have a tick mark here and here so you can divide it it just makes it easier for you to divide it however you want to um, and it just serves as a guideline and it just goes on like this from January until December and um, I think the great thing about this is that you maybe um, you want to use it for five-year diary but you can also use it for a 10-year diary by dividing it in the middle or you can use it for three di three-year diary four-year diary six years whatever you want to and there's really nothing stopping you um, so this will go on and on until December and what happens is that we're going to have 120 pages of blank pages spill over. I would call it spill over at the very end. And they're all going to be numbered. Every single page is going to be numbered. Um, so basically what you can do is there are going to be some days that you require extra material or extra um, space. So you can always use this uh, spill over section for that purpose. Or you can do like photo dump for like that year if you just had a lot of photos that you wanted to save. Um, you can do that in the back and then you can always like reference which page you put that photo in on the daily so you can always find it. Um, you can also use the blank pages in the front as a um, like a table of contents so that you can like find what you put um, for which day like the important dates in the front too so again there's just like so many different things you can do with this and I really wanted to make it like super flexible um, and that is my planning and journaling philosophy I want I always want minimal structure so that I don't have to um, create everything myself but at the same time I want there to be enough um, space for my creativity to make my pages organic and reflect my own personal like style and uh, the ephemeras that I want to put in the pictures I want to put in to make it my um, notebook or journal or planner so that's kind of my philosophy here and this is what we have created um, I'm really really excited about this I think it's gonna be great for those of you who just don't have time to like kind of keep up with um, the five-year diaries but um, from my experience it's really really rewarding to keep something like that because you get to kind of revisit the same day like what happened on the same day but say you skip a year it's not gonna be the um, the end of the world you can just use this space for next year if you have like, space left over so yeah that's that's what this looks like and um, again I just wanted to do a quick preview of what this is and again this is a sample so it doesn't have like all the pages but we will do a full like introduction of this product again once we receive all the final products and um, they will be available in three different colors so the caramel blue mist and the uh, forest green um, and again each fiber diary is going to come with a clear stamp set um, to to date your um, days and again these you can just switch it up you can do like them skip staggered or you can make them like all along the same line or you can play up your layout however you want to. So I think these are gonna be really fun. Obviously you wanna like put it aside, but like we are going to probably sell extras of these um, for those of you who might want them. So I have to figure that out. But yeah, that's what this is going to look like. And by the way, these grids will not match up to our common planner because I had to like readjust them to make sure like everything fits. But for the empty pages we still go by like 
what we do with the blank pages and we will have middle tick marks so that you can kind of uh, use that as guideline use that as a guideline so yeah that's everything and i am going to do a video on the booklets um next and that should be up that video should be up this week as well thank you so much for watching and i'm going to drop all the um details in the description of this video and also the first comment thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one